A deal is on the table between Duval County Public Schools and the local teachers union. It comes after the state legislature passed a bill earlier this year that boosts the minimum pay for educators in the state. Some say it leaves veteran teachers behind. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joins us live from the district's headquarters. Joe, the ballots were sent out today. More than 7,000 teachers will be voting on this. Yeah, and they're going to have to decide whether or not they're going to take the deal that's on the table or reject it. That bill you mentioned provided just Duval County Public Schools nearly $23 million for teacher pay raises. But it's how that money is being distributed that has many teachers frustrated. Duval County teachers have the next 10 days to consider a tentative three-year deal on the table, which outlines employee rights and negotiated pay schedules. And those pay schedules have been the sticking point for many education unions across the state. It's all because earlier this year, the state legislature passed HB 641, distributing a half billion dollars meant to boost the minimum base salary for classroom teachers. In Duval County, it moves that minimum up to $45,890. Duval County's district got nearly $23 million from that bill, but 80% of it was earmarked for boosting the minimum base salary of new teachers, and the other 20%, about $4.5 million, can be used for other instructional employees. And that all includes charter school teachers as well. Critics of the plan say the bill is a slap in the face to veteran teachers who are poised to only see a fraction of the raise their junior colleagues would receive. Duval Teachers United President Terry Brady said DCPS is adding an extra $3 million out of its general fund to boost the pay raises for those veteran teachers. An investment, she says, that isn't perfect, but it's something. We want to at least maintain for our veteran teachers. It is not equitable and it's not fair, but I think they got what our county wanted to do to give them what they got at least last year. They got their step movement and they got their performance pay. Brady and other union leaders are bracing for when the state legislature reconvenes early next year to budget the third quarter, concerned that in the COVID-19 economy, cuts to public education are imminent. She wants Duval teachers to support this deal while it's on the table. And the school board actually went back three times to end up coming up with the three million dollars extra above and beyond what the legislator gave us to try to do some fair compensation for these veteran teachers. It's not equitable, but it's fair. Now, those ballots are due to be turned back in on December 17th. On that night, they're going to be counted. Now, if this deal is rejected, it's back to the negotiating table for DTU uh, negotiators and DCPS uh, representatives, uh, and they'll try to negotiate a new deal. But uh, Terry Brady told me she doesn't expect much change. Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.